In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to give Meta Business Manager access. If you're managing assets for a business on social media, sharing access efficiently and securely is crucial. So, let's walk through this process step by step. First, open your preferred web browser and search for Meta for Business. This will lead you to the Meta Business Manager login page. If you're not already logged in, you'll need to do so using your email, Facebook, or Instagram credentials. It's important to have access to the business account you'll be managing, so ensure you use the appropriate login details. Once you're logged in, you'll find yourself on the Meta Business Manager dashboard. Here, look for the Users option in the left-hand menu. Clicking on it will bring up a drop-down from which you should select People. This section is where you can manage the access and roles of those involved in managing your business's assets. With the People section open, your next task is to click on the Invite People button. This action opens a form where you can specify who you wish to add. You'll need the email address of the person you're inviting, so make sure you have it handy. Enter their email in the field provided. After entering the email, it's time to decide on the level of access this person will have. Meta Business Manager offers two primary options, partial and full access. Partial access is more restricted, allowing the person to perform specific tasks, whereas full access gives them complete control over the business assets. This includes the ability to manage other users, so consider the responsibilities you're assigning carefully. Next, you'll see an option to select the specific assets the invited person will need to interact with. These assets might include Facebook pages, ad accounts, and other business resources you've authorized. Simply check the boxes next to the relevant assets to assign access to them. Before proceeding, take a moment to carefully review the access settings you've configured. It's crucial that these align with the level of responsibility and trust you're placing in this individual. Double-checking here can prevent potential mishaps later on. Once you're satisfied with the access rights and assets you've selected, go ahead and click the Invite button. This action sends out an email invitation to the new user, allowing them to accept and gain access according to the permissions you've set. And there you have it. By following these steps, you can efficiently manage who has access to your meta business assets ensuring smooth collaboration while maintaining security and control over your business's digital presence. Remember, regular reviews of user access are a good practice to ensure your business remains secure. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you found this guide helpful.